Okay, let's step away from the primary for a moment to another big story here at home. This is a live look at UD Arena where the first four tips off tonight. The parking lot is starting to fill up with fans, but it's not just the arena that will be welcoming the big crowds. To news reporter Kelly King shows us how bars and restaurants are preparing for the big boost in business this week. March is the busiest time of year for bars around the University of Dayton. And that's not only because of the NCAA tournament, but also because of St. Patrick's Day. While basketball fans will be flooding UD Arena, bars are ramping up to welcome them. Milano's kind of turns into the center of the basketball universe down here. General Manager Larry Atkinson says business is expected to double, even triple during the week long of parties. The first four has become a routine for Milano's every March. That's why it's overstaffing. Extra door staff, extra bars tending staff. Uh, you know, my vendors love me this week because I'm ordering everything in the world. Nearby, Flanagan's pub owner Colin Pullman focuses on St. Patty's Day with the first four tournament as an added bonus. The timing uh, has been very good to us. The NCAA tournament combined with St. Patrick's Day are going to make this week uh, extremely busy. The tent is up, the stage is set, and the beer truck is ready ahead of Thursday when the pub is expecting the number of people to be in the quadruple digits. Needless to say, uh, we were in crunch mode, um, but we're prepared and, and we're excited. It's Pullman's first march as owner, but he's prepared for both fans and St. Patty's Day revelers. It'll be a sea of green. <laughs> There will be at least 20 staff members on deck at any given time Thursday, plus 20 volunteers from the FOP. Now, both bars are just gearing up for the madness. Get here early. Uh, when the doors open, we are usually, uh, every table is taken up within like the first 30 minutes. When the flyers are playing, everybody wants to be here. So it's a big operation, to say the least. The first four is estimated to pump more than $4 million into the local economy through hotels, bars, and restaurants. Kelly King, 5 on 2.